this week I need to get the F-150 done because my father-in-law it's coming back he's actually in Brazil now and I want to give his truck back this truck has been here for almost two months and a half it's time now the weather is better humidity is not that bad you guys just saw I put everything apart I clean well before we start do I recommend to everybody to do this no do I know how to do it no it's a, I'm, I'm trying and it, this is the best way to try I would never spray an entire car with a you know uh, a spray can that's me maybe if you want to try but I think this is perfect. We don't want the car to be perfect because it's not perfect by any means. And I can I will show you here later. You guys saw that I bought new fenders, and it doesn't make sense to pay a body shop to do the entire work because the labor is insane. And we're gonna spend maybe more than what the car is worth. So we're gonna try here because it's gonna be a good learning experience for me. And maybe we're gonna get maybe no. We already got this car in a better shape than it was before. I don't think we are losing anything, even if the results, they are not great because we are dealing with paint, you know, weather. I try to do my best to make this thing work as better as I can. And you guys gonna enjoy the process. You see here, I try, I sand this down, but look at how rusted it. Uh, it's not even worth it. I'm gonna just bond it and leave it alone. I'm not gonna touch the other ones because I think this truck, look at that. See, this truck needs a new bag. So, just to make it look better, I would just, you know, close that one. Not gonna touch the other size too. And we're gonna paint the fenders. So, to paint the fenders, it's pretty straightforward. You guys saw I prep it. I got alcohol, just to give it that final clean. Uh, I got prime for that bumper because it's plastic. I wanna get primer. And this is the color that I got from a local shop, a paint shop that's a matching color for the fenders. Uh, this is a on one stage paint. I don't need to clear coat. I don't need to do anything. It's just one, one shot and that's it. And I put like a booth here in my garage. So I don't spray the entire house because last time was bad. Welcome to my booth. <laughs> here are the fenders. They are pretty clean. This is the bumper that I'm gonna uh, give it a shot priming. I got my mask, gloves. I had to send it because I was sending some stuff on the truck. But the, here should be where I'm working. Uh, it's a try, we'll see. The only reason why I'm doing this in my garage is because my garage is completely empty because we are doing a rental. Anyway, you guys saw, we just removed the lolly column and tomorrow the, the electrician is coming. So it's perfect time to do this. The humidity here is like 45%, 40%, which is I think is the lowest I can get because it's early in the morning. Well, let's get to work. We're gonna do the primer on the bumper. Uh, I'm shooting for three coats of prime, 10 minutes between each. Yeah. Should be good. between coats that you saw here was just sanding this down I put like a uh, body patch uh, I'll wait I'll send it and I will spray it with the same paint that I have it it's just a trial to see if it's gonna look better uh, you see you have more rust here I'm not touching those spots what I also want to do we're gonna blast dip this chrome piece bumper and the side steps so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna mask everything that I don't want to plastic deep on it and we should be good to spray. I want to get all this spray done today and then, oh, I also did this side here and then I need to sand it. If it's smooth, we're gonna paint it and we should be good to go. But the reason why I want to do this black is because first of all, it's in horrible shape and this one I'm gonna leave black like this 
so it's gonna be all the bottom black I want to get rid of the chrome and then we're gonna give her a good wash some tire shine and she should be good to go here's the deal that's why I'm saying that's not you should not try this this is a old truck this truck needs a new bed anyway it's so rusted out but I'm trying to make it better bonded I sand it now I'm gonna prime it and then I'm gonna tr try to paint with the same can that we're gonna paint the fenders because once you open that can it's gone useless so right now I'm gonna apply the primer and we're gonna let sit for like 20 minutes and then we're gonna start painting Just finished the second coat of prime. I was to use a, I don't know, 6000. And I'm gonna blast deep the steps and the side bumper. So while that dries, let's blast deep it. if I say that I'm not worried about it but again it's just paint worst case scenario what we do it is not a brand new truck of course I want it to come out as good as it can I'm gonna wipe everything off with paper towel and alcohol this spray paint there's this cab you tap on the bottom and then you gotta use it right so far it's super windy outside but my boot is holding so good we should be good to go. Let's do it. some drops here I don't know if you can tell but this one it's pretty good look at that this paint is way stronger than the other one and because my battery died I had to paint the truck already uh, I still have one more coat to do it and that should be it but let me show you guys the truck uh, I had to spray it because uh, I didn't have time to charge my bat my camera and uh, I spray it uh, I tried to blend as much as I could. You see, this so fade down. The uh, we'll see. I'll get one more coat, and that's it. Should be it. Uh, same for the other side. The plastic deep is, is it's almost. I can almost peel it off. Look at that. And here's the other side. I think that's the only way you learn. You try to do it. The other thing, make sure. You have a nice spot to do because my garage is a mess not this side though that side it's so messy you saw how sticky my feet were uh, but I, i'm glad that i i got my paint booth uh, i'll wrap everything up i'll do one more coat and it should be it
glad they didn't do this before doing my garage for sure but here we are we're gonna put everything back together it's has been like i don't know more than 24 hours uh, it's super early in the morning so people normally ask when i get stuff done now it's 6 30 in the morning that's when i get stuff done i still have to work today a bunch of stuff to do today the electrician is coming over to the garage today we're gonna start moving forward on that project too i'll give you guys a update maybe next upload and i have a meeting today to m make another video so crazy but anyway uh about the paint it's it's not perfect though uh i can tell you it's not perfect a couple running spots i don't think my garage was the perfect spot to to do it but so far better than whatever was there if you guys remember uh, when are we done and we're gonna do a comparison what it was and what it is now but let's get to work say we did it <laughs> what do you guys think uh, I'll tell you it's not perfect but man that thing it's a different truck for sure it's a different truck uh, it's uh, it's challenging as I always said uh, nothing is easy uh, and it's not perfect don't take me wrong it's not perfect but if you are in a but think about it if you are in a budget if you, you know you you got a good deal in a beat up truck you can make it look like this and you're good to go drive is nice clean all wheel drive what else you gonna ask for right it's a totally different truck it's a better truck you can tell the difference between like you know the old paint i tried to polish a little bit you guys saw the before and after and so we put a new fenders new bumper uh, i put a new bullet antenna look at that i think it's nice the emblem is our back. Of course, we did the interior. If you didn't watch the, the interior makeover, uh, the interior is pretty much brand new. I did LED <coughs> in everything. I will turn it on here so you can see it. Yeah, LED all over. Everything is LED. Fog lights are LED. Beans, low beans, everything is LED. AC works, everything works on this truck. Well, I could not be happier. I hope my father in law will enjoy as much as I did doing the process. If you have a project truck or a beat up car, you can bring it to life. Doing it by yourself, saving labor. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about the F 150 and 
I really hope my father-in-law would take advantage and he feels safe, he feel better. Uh, everything about this truck, I hope he enjoy it. I'll see you guys next one. If you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. Way more content coming, trucks, cars, and garage stuff. I'll see you guys next one. Never forget, enjoy your life and work hard for it.